Now, our next guest is taking on the role of the scheming Sarah Stratton in TV's newest bonkbuster, Rivals. Well, here to tell us all about the steamy goings-on in Rockshire, please welcome Emily Atak. <laughs> I'm going to break the chair as well. Hello. Oh, not. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Have, have you this perfumed? Is a good panel, isn't it? Did you perfume up before you came oh, on? Big time. Yeah. Come on, we all do it. Yeah. Yeah. You smell great today. Thank you yeah. so much. You can smell down there. <laughs> <laughs> um, how excited were you to do this? Because it was talked about for so long. Oh. Everyone's been talking about it. it. You were just not probably not even a twinkle when this book was written. I know, but I think I was born in the wrong era. The 80s is a bit of me. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Hey, you all just drunk champagne in the daytime. Nice. Great, yeah. normalise it. Um, no, I, <laughs> do you know, I read the script and, you know, obviously they said there's going to be lots of nudity. Are you going to be up for this? I was like, Disney, there is no way on earth that you are going to get me playing tennis. I, you know, that was what I was worried about. I wasn't was worried boundary. about anything else. Yeah. That was my boundary, yeah. I was like, no, everything else, it was just... It was honestly the best job I've ever done in my life. The cast were amazing. People say, don't meet your heroes. I met every single one of them, and they're all my friends now, and they are just amazing. I mean, it is a cast, isn't it? Yes. David Tennant, Danny Dyer, Alex Hassel. I don't know how I got in there. Yeah. Were you nervous, though, being in, you know... So nervous. ...acting with these people yeah, and... Yeah, and They are legends. Yeah, them. and I remember the first day of the read-through, we went to the... Uh, yeah, went to the read-through and walked in. It was, you know, all of Disney there, everybody there. I was like, oh, my God. And I sat next to uh, Vic Smurfit, and she was just so lovely. And... I was looking around going, oh, my God, have I done it? The next thing you know, I'm in David Tennant's kitchen having a laugh. As you do. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Were you nervous when it came to the sex scenes and being naked? And I'm actually fine with it. I mean, it's so funny, isn't it? Because people kind of go, well, hang on, you need to pick a lane. You can't be somebody that does this, you know, plays oh. these kinds of roles, but also campaigns for sexual violence against women. And it's like, if people think you can't do both. Yeah. And I'm really trying to hammer this message home that, yes, you can. I'm exactly where I need to be at work in a professional environment. Obviously, in the past, it wasn't always that way, but we have intimacy coordinators. It's heavily choreographed. We're all having a nice time because we're all being professional, we're all safe, and I'm doing my job. I'm not going to change what I'm doing. It's behaviour of other people that needs yeah. to change. <laughs> Yeah, speaking of that, Emily, I, I absolutely loved it. I watched all eight in one go. No, and the soundtrack. She binged. I, it, it was it's brilliant, and you were You've amazing. You've seen me naked. Yes, but, but I, <laughs> and it, it was quite an eye-opener. But you, you, you're talking. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, you said we're going to need a bigger lens. <laughs> <laughs> but you, um, you presented a documentary yes. um, about asking for it, and you were just saying that you know about just being able to be yourself. Yeah. How, you're still following, finding some backlash from that. Oh, completely. And it's funny, isn't it? Because as women, we're so used to having to think about our behaviour. We have to mm -hmm. think about what we wear. We have to think <laughs> we can't go out for a jog after dark. We have to take a different route home, you know. And all we're saying is men all of a sudden now have to look inward at their own behaviours that they've been allowed to get away with for years. Mm. And, th and some, men, some men, not all men, they can't stand the fact that they need to look inward and change their behaviour. We've had to do it forever. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So it's all, it's just that. It's educating. And now yeah. you're raising a I, young, very young oh, man. Oh, boy. Yeah. Tiny little... And he's an egg. We were pregnant yeah. last time you were here. I know. Yeah. Oh, my God, can you believe it? I mean, um, I know he's only four months old, but is it yeah. too early to start thinking about how you're going to, um, you know, educate him? And know, isn't he lovely? <laughs> little, oh, no, no. <laughs> Honestly, I can't look at it without sobbing, so I'm not going to look at that. Um, do you know, I'm not going to be a perfect parent. There's no such thing as a perfect parent, but I think this is my chance to, you know, I've now... There's now so much, so many more reasons why I'm going to continue campaigning and doing these things. Mm. I want to teach my son. I want my son to grow up in a world where women are treated better. Yeah. And I... Yeah, it's my chance to do that. Yeah. Um, it's so funny, though, thinking about him now when he's going to get his first girlfriend or boyfriend. going to be like, no, you're mine! <laughs> um, but, yes, it's my chance to kind of educate in the best way I can. I won't get it perfect no. all the time, but yeah, it's yeah. I think I, I think I'll be a, a good mum. I'm a good mum. I mum. think I'll be. A yeah, good. I'm good at it. I love him so much. I, I, I when I left the house um, the other day, I looked at him and my, him and my partner in bed, oof, and oh. I was going off to promote Rivals, and I just thought, you know, life doesn't get better than this. Yeah, I yeah, have yeah. to take this well, listen, moment in. Like, bringing it back to Rivals, it is getting rave reviews, oh, and people are saying yeah. it's very, you know, it's almost like. Not a comedy version of Jilly's book, but it's it's a good old romp, as they yes. say. It's fun. I mean, Brenda's that's loved it. That's all they do it. is romp. Yeah. It's, I, was, yeah. I was quite... I think that's why I kept 
going to the next one. I was oh, like, right. oh, okay. Okay. I'm hoping there's going to be another series. Oh god, me too. I mean, we all had so much fun doing it. I think I think the world needs this at the moment. You know, it's it's it, it, horrible things are happening, and it's escapism. It also, as fun as it is, it touches up on mm. you know really sensitive subjects, and I think they're handled really really well. Um, well the say back in the eighties, all the things we've talked about, misogyny yeah. and yeah. sexism in yes. the workplace. I mean, it was rife. Well, we know Absolutely. we were there. Yes, exactly. And <laughs> and we, it sort of begs the question when you watch it, how far have we come? You know, mm. and I as I said. There's intim intimacy coordinators on set. That's a very new thing. Um, I was so How comfortable on that, that set. How different is that? What's the difference to not having an intimacy coordinator? It's, it's very unusual. It's definitely a dynamic, <laughs> a very different kind of dynamic to navigate. But um, but it's great. But it shows to me that that finally people are understanding that that these things have happened yeah. and they really need to be acknowledged and there needs to be things put in place. And you know, it's not. It's people kind of say, oh, but the Me Too movement, it's it's killed all the fun. No. The perverts have killed all the fun. Yeah, it's yeah, not the, Me Too, the Me Too movement and all these things that are put in place. They're the brilliant things. They're that, highlighting. Yeah, they're it. highlighting yeah. it and yeah. saying yeah. this can't happen, and we want to feel safer as women, mm. so they can only be a good thing. And I'm opinion. presuming you, you, um, you filmed all this before you had Barney. Did you? I, so I this, filmed it. You yes. filmed it. So it was yes. all, all done. Definitely, I'm you... way more rollier than that now. <laughs> no, just. <laughs> um, <laughs> did you meet Julie Cooper? Did she yes. come down oh, to the set? She's oh, that's honestly, cool. she is such an amazing woman. She's got this twinkle in her eye. She's flirtatious. She's lovely. She's just amazing, and she's so complimentary as well. You know, you want to get these characters right. They mean so much to her, and she just kept coming up to me on set and to everyone, saying what a good job she thought we were doing. Oh, and, that's great. Yeah, it must yeah. be nice that she's so happy with it. Oh, and, yeah. it's an honour. Yeah. It's a complete honour to play someone like Sarah Stratton. You know, women like her have been. How would you vilified. describe your Sarah Stratton? She's. Uh, promiscuous, ambitious, uh, quite funny, and just a very misunderstood woman. And I think a lot of people will relate to her, I think. Misunderstood because... She's she's misunderstood because I think she's had to use her sexuality to get the things that she wants. And I think in life, as women, if ever anybody has done that, it's you learn, as the series goes on, the nuances of that and the, co the complexities around it. And you learn that sometimes women have felt in the past there is no other choice but to do mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And that's where you start learning that it's not, you know, it's it's not just about calling someone. It's You can't just say, well, she's just a tart. She's just, can I say that? Um, yeah. I've said it now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's learning about the nuances of that and about what women have had to go through and the things they've had to do to get security and the things that yeah. they need. And changing the subject completely, are you a karaoke queen? Do you like a bit of oh, karaoke? Oh, I'm very What's aggressive when it comes to aggressive, karaoke. Aggressive, are you? <laughs> yeah, really. I imagine you, are, you yeah, can no, sing. I'm a mic hogger. I mean, it's you? all nice at first, but 20 songs in, it's like, Emily, get off. <laughs> <laughs> You've actually go. Yeah. Uh, listen, I can't wait to watch Rivals. Brenda was dying to tell us all about it. We're like, don't spoil it. Thank you very much, <laughs> Emily. <laughs> 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 <laughs>